I've heard so many people say that it takes too much time to make printables. And today I am here to bust that myth. I'm gonna show you three printables that you can make in five minutes or less each. I'll prove it with a countdown timer and nothing will be sped up. I've done the keyword research to come up with three best selling ideas that have low search competition and high search volume. If you need help with how to do keyword research, I have some other videos on my channel about that and I will link those in the description for you. The easiest way to make printables fast is by using templates and I have some free templates that you can download and those are in the link in the description as well. So you can grab those and follow along with me if you want to. And if you feel inspired to make some printables for these keywords, feel free to use these keywords to make your own version of these printables that I'm going to make today. Now, I'm not saying that you should be designing all of your printables in five minutes or less because you should be thoughtful about your designs and create something really unique and special. But I wanted to show you that it is possible to create something quickly that still has the potential to be a bestseller and can really stand out. And you don't have to be a graphic designer or artist either. So I'm going to be using the templates that I have available for free. So we're going to use that as a starting point for each of these product projects, but I'm actually going to change them up quite a bit. So I'll show you quickly the templates before we get started. So there's instructions how to use them, and then there's gift tags, bookmarks, a greeting card, gift card holders, and a banner. So the first one I'm going to start with is bear bookmarks, and this has a search volume of 20,427 and a competition of 2,484. For each of these, I'll start the timer. As soon as I start designing, I won't be speeding up the video or cutting out parts or anything like that. So we're just gonna do this in real time. So I'm gonna search for a bear in the elements, and then I'm just gonna look and find one that I really like. And then I'm going to click this three dots right here so I can check if this person has any other bears that I could use. I'm going to grab a couple of these and then a couple of the girl ones. And then I'm just going to size all of them down. And then I'm going to see what other cute elements they have. So I'm just going to click out of here and go to graphics. And then this would be cute, I think. This little bow. Some balloons. and a cloud. I'm going to move that balloons to backward so that it's behind the bear. Oops, not that far backward. And then I'll just make this bow a little bit bigger. And then the cloud looks good. Now I'm going to put some text on these.
We can change the text. Change the color of the text. I'm going to click on this color and then go here and just do a darker version so it's easier to see. So I think that's good. Then I'm just going to duplicate this text box. Move it over here. I'm going to change the line height and then I'm going to duplicate this one. And then duplicate this one. And we're done. Now the next one I'm gonna do is a pencil gift card holder. And the search volume for this one is 18,980 and the competition is 2,143. So for this one, I'm gonna remove this outline here and I'm gonna do something different. So I'm gonna put in pencil and I'm gonna go to the graphics and then I'm gonna scroll down and find one that I like. I like this one. So I'm going to flip it over and enlarge it. And then I'll send it to the back. Then I'm going to change the line spacing because this spacing is pretty far apart and I need more room than that. So we're going to go for that. I'm going to get this out of the way for just a minute while I get this organized. So this will go here. Make it a little bit smaller. So this is where the gift card goes. And then I'm going to change this font to something a little bit cuter. One I like is Canva Student. Yeah, that one's cute. And then this one, I'm going to do that. And then I can change this to Canvas Student 2 and I may need to realign it. Okay, 
So that looks good. I'm actually going to delete this. I could actually copy this, make two copies of it on one page. The other thing you want to do is just make sure that the gift card fits on here. I don't know because I haven't had the, I haven't printed this out yet, but I would want to make sure that the pencil is wide enough that the gift card could fit on there. Otherwise, you can make like a dotted line where they can um, stick the card in and tape it on the back side. So that's all there is to that one, and look how cute it is. And then the last one we're going to do is football gift tags printable. This one I'm not actually going to use a template for. I'm just going to start with a blank page because I have a, I think I want to uh, make a shaped tag instead of just a regular tag. So I'm just going to add a page here and the search volume for this one is 11,524 and the competition is 1,517. And just so you know, these numbers I'm giving you are from Sales Samurai. If you want to do your own keyword research, there's a link for Sales Samurai and a code to get 20% off after your trial is over if you want to check that out. Okay, so let's get started on these football tags. So I'm just going to search for a football. And I think I like this one. This one or this one would be good for what I'm making. I might go with this one. And then I want to make it so that I can get about three across. And then I'm going to put a text box. And then I have a, I'm going to leave this down here so you can see, I have a, a font that I uploaded from Creative Fabrica that is like a sports font. I have to find it. I'm not sure which one it is. Oh yeah, this JP Sporty Grunge Regular. So I think that one will be cute on there. And then I want to make it white because I want it to show up and then I'm just going to move it up here and fit it in between And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that it can fit in there better. And then we can duplicate this and do like a to and from. If you wanted to add that, you don't have to. They could always write on the back as well. But we may as well. So I'm going to left align these so that they line up correctly. And then just make them a little bit smaller. And then there's that. And then all I'm going to do is group these together. Then I'm going to duplicate and just move this over here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. And then I'm just going to duplicate that again. And then I'm going to get these lined up in the center of the page. Then I'm going to duplicate all three, put them down here. And then I'm going to duplicate that again. And then I'm just going to select everything and just center it all in the middle of the page where you get those the pink plus. And that's all for that one. And then for this one, they can just punch a hole wherever they want to put the hole for hanging it. So they could put it on the end or they can put it up here, wherever they 
they decide to do it. A lot of times I don't put the hole on the tags just so people can choose what they want to do. If you want to know more about how to sell printables, I have a course that is releasing again at the end of October. You can get on the wait list. The link is in the description or you can go to passivelyeverafter.com. It is super thorough, teaches you how to make all the printables and set up your shop and everything you need to do to sell on Etsy and Shopify.